Hey guys, it's BSRC here with RC Nightmare again. In this video we're going to talk a little bit about the Castlink, show you how to hook it up, and demonstrate a few of the features it has. In the link package they give you the USB wire to hook up to your computer. And the most important little piece is the USB adapter. You're going to hook this right up to your ESC plug. So we're going to open the receiver box locate the throttle channel which is number two remember one to turn two to burn here's the plug right here keep an eye on the polarity as you plug it in they do have it written out in tiny little symbols the positive the negative and the signal wire plug that guy in plug the USB adapter into your computer and into the board everything worked right, the lights should flash on the little board here, which they are, and you can see that the computer recognized the ESC, brings up the Mamba Monster for me right away. This software is available for free from Castle Creations, you can download it from their website. Let's start with the basic tab. Here we have the cutoff voltage setting, the reverse type, motor direction, motor type, brake amount, drag brake. The most common setting to probably play with here is going to be the cutoff voltage. Uh, right from the factory it comes with auto lipo, so it's going to auto detect when you have a lipo in the truck. If you only run lipos, you could set this to a specific cutoff depending on the voltage you're running. Otherwise auto lipo is safe to leave it on. I'll leave it there. 3 volts per cell is great. A reverse type, you want to leave reverse on. If you don't want reverse, you can disable it or you can have a less sensitive crawler reverse. Motor direction is normal. We're obviously running a brushless motor. We want the beep on when we power on the ESC. And the brake amount is usually good at 50%. You can play with that a little bit if you like to have a more or less sensitive brake. And drag brake is a brake while you're at neutral. It will slowly slow down the car for you, like if you were applying the brakes. Um, we're going to leave it at zero on a truck like this. There's so much drag that it's really not needed. Over to the power tab, you can customize how much forward and reverse power you have. Uh, we're going to stick with 100% forward power. Who wouldn't, right? And reverse power again is good at 50%. Usually don't need to go in reverse that fast. Punch control is a, a type of traction control that will kind of ramp up the throttle off the line for you so it's not so sensitive and you can turn that up from 0 to 100%. We're going to leave it at 0 for this truck. We like all the torque right away. Under the advanced tab you have the motor timing, you can play with that if you'd like. Normal is usually a safe bet. The higher timing that you go, the hotter the motor may run depending on your setup. If you're unsure, just leave it at the default. Uh, arming time and throttle dead band, most people won't have to mess with that if you may have a lesser, more sensitive controller trigger. And starting power again is like a traction control. We're going to leave it at low for now. It's a good stock setting. Here we have the throttle curves. If your throttle is still too sensitive, you can click and create a point here, see a little blue dot, and pull it down to make it less sensitive. You'll see as you squeeze the trigger, instead of it being a straight line up to 100%, it's going to ramp up, and you can put as many points in here as you like, get real wild, right click to delete the points. We're going to leave it as a linear throttle for now, we may play with it later as we uh, mess with the truck. Brake curve is the same story. If your brake's a little too sensitive, you can pull it down. If you want a little bit more braking, you can bring it up and they'll brake a little bit harder on the trigger. Then we have the software tab. You can see the current firmware version is 1.3 beta, 1.30, and that's what we're on. Uh, if you had just bought the ESC, you may see that you were on 1.27 and the program would prompt you to update. So as Castle release, releases new firmware, be it for more options in this software or just a smoother throttle response or whatnot, they'll show you on here there's an update and give you the option to update it if you'd like. And we have the save and print tab. This will allow you to save your settings if you want to try a few different profiles. You can save one, load it up later, switch back to it. It really allows you to customize. After you have all your settings the way you like them, just hit the update button at the bottom of the screen, wait for the progress bar to finish, and that's it. Unplug it and enjoy it. Your ride. That's it for the cast link for now. If you have any more questions, please comment. Thanks again.